So I'm Mark, back to uh, Kingston Park after four weeks on England duty. How much have you enjoyed being part of the England squad during the Quilter Internationals? Uh, yes, yeah, been brilliant. It's been a great four weeks. Uh, I've kind of learnt a lot, and it's um, you know to be involved in all the four games was you know something that I'm really grateful for, and to to get the opportunity to do that was great. If you had to pick out a moment, what's been the the standout element for you for for the four matches? Has it been eighty minutes in them, or is it your first international try, or is it all just one one big experience that you'll maybe process a bit later on? Um, I think what you just said at the end is probably yeah exactly that. I think it's something that you know uh, you know once it settles in and, and it'd be nice to look back on as a, as a whole experience, but. Um, you know, playing in the South Africa game, start you know starting the first test, um, you know eight was 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 special. Um, but again, the way that we finished against Australia was great as well. Uh, you know, it's great to be part of a a good team performance in that second half. So, has it been a different England experience for you this time? The the, the first England tests that you've been playing at Twickenham at home. Uh, yeah, I think that it's. Um, Obviously, it was the first time I played at Twickenham in front of a full house, which was, you know, an amazing experience. But I think as a as a team, uh, we're growing as as such, and we're progressing and uh, learning a lot more about ourselves. So uh, to be part of that was great. There was a great atmosphere in camp, and uh, you know, there was a lot of excitement about where we can go as a team. And what have the four weeks of Quilter Internationals taught you about yourself as a player? What have you learned from them? Uh, very much do what you do on a weekly basis. Uh, try and Try and emulate that uh, as much as you can, and uh, don't try and be some, something that you're not. And um, you know, if you, you you know you'll get picked on on what your strengths are. So kind of don't sway too far away from what you do. Uh, you know, week in week out. And what can you bring back to to Newcastle going forward? Obviously, it's uh, we've seen it before with uh, with Tanny and Nicky when they've come back from international duty. So what, what do you think you can add as a result of the experience of the last four weeks? Um, hopefully it's just a case of just getting back to normal and getting back to what I was doing before I went away and um, you know I've been part of this team now for for a lot for a lot of years and just you know hopefully I can just keep keep adding in that in that way and you know the stuff that I've learnt in the way that I'll you know the final details that I you can share with the boys and kind of say oh you know this this works well and you know try it out and stuff and help us progress but inevitably I just want to uh, you know keep adding to the team where I can. Your praises are something that's been sung quite highly by everybody associated with the club, from staff to fans recently. Uh, ended the series with Sky Sports uh, Man of the Series, so the public vote gave you gave you that accolade. Is it a nice thing to, to, to have a wider appreciation of what you do, or does that sort of wash over you? Um, obviously, it's nice. It's, you know, you, at the end of the day, you want nice things said about you. That's, it's just human nature, isn't it? And, uh, you know, to, to, to get the messages that, you know, is, is great. It's uh, probably the thing that's probably I appreciate the most is 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 um, you know people I've not spoke to for kind of 15, 16 years messaging you out of the blue and uh, kind of saying how proud they are of uh, of me and stuff like that, which is is possibly the biggest kind of um, you know thing that hits home. Uh, but no, it's, it's it's great and just hopefully, like I said, I keep can keep performing and helping both Newcastle and England. Uh, to the best of my ability. And obviously getting a taste for it, it is something that you want to strive for and uh, have involvement in Six Nations and maybe even further afield World Cup next year. Yeah, it's obviously it's in the back of everyone's head that, that you know, it's a, it's a big year for English rugby and I'm sure, you know, all any English player across the league is going to be excited about, you know, their chances and what they can do. But I think it's very much a case of just trying to focus on the, the, the day in, day out, uh, day in, day out stuff with, with Newcastle here and, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's someone's opinion and someone's choice. Uh, so it's just you've got to control what you can and 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 perform to the best of your ability.